days so far. Um, look at this glorious day, fresh and kind of cool. So I've got the scarf on here, but uh, yeah, it'll be coming off in a moment. Um, so today is day four, where we're with 30 days of blissful yoga for uh, easy weight loss challenge. Fantastic. So um, I'd please like to ask you to always remember that you bring a block to each class and also to bring a strap. Now we may not always use them, but there could be times where you need them. And um, additional to that, uh, if you can invest in a blanket and a bolster, that'd be great. There's a few things I'd like to teach you with those. All right, good. <clears throat> so let's get started. So the first thing, we, so today is called um, detox and renew. So we're going to be doing twisting poses and we're going to be doing standing poses. So, okay, off with the layers Ooh. and the socks as well. Okay, we're ready for all weathers. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is come to the top of the mat. Now, I'm going to just show you my hand movements. So with this, we're going to be turning the hands inside out like that. And when I say to change the fingers, what you do is you just move the fingers up one, okay? So that we have the two different ways. And the other thing I'll do today is I'll have the hands, when we've got the arms lifted, because I can't sort of get that in the screen, is that you have the palms facing each other like that. So when your arms are lifted, the palms are facing each other. Okay, so let's come to the front of the mat, and I'll just get you to lift, have your feet hip width apart, lift and separate all the toes, and then lengthen the balls of the feet forward and the heels of the feet back. And then have your arms by your sides, pointing the fingers down, a little bit of energy through the arms. And then inhale as you roll the shoulders up, around and back, shoulder blades against the back. And tilt your pelvis so that you're bringing the tailbone to come down directly between the heels in through the lower belly and at the same time lifting up through the lower belly. Good. Neck is long and just with a gentle gaze straight ahead. Okay, so keeping this posture and lifting the kneecaps, having the legs nice and strong and straight. Now gently close your eyes and I'm going to give you a little visualization to imagine. So just take one step back on your mat and maintain that body posture so the insides of the feet are parallel, lengthening through the soles of the feet, spreading and separating all the toes. Now just imagine that in front of you is your ultimate you. So see an image of yourself and look at her. Now she's your ultimate you, so she is the shape that you so desire. So imagine her with the body shape exactly the way that you would like to have your body shape. Have a look at her ankles, her calves, her legs, her belly, her butt, her hips, chest, arms, neck and face. And just envision someone just like you. Now, if you're finding it a little hard to imagine, don't worry about it. Even just thinking about it will create a picture in your mind's eye. So don't be too caught up on whether or not you see her. Now, what is she wearing? And then, what is the countenance on her face? So get her looking really joyful and really happy with herself, exactly the way that she is. Put on her favorite perfume flower in her hair if you like and have a look at her and this is your ultimate self so this is the you that we're working toward now visualizations are very very powerful and you can visualize her all day anytime you have a negative self image just bring yourself back to thinking about this girl who is your ultimate you now step forward and step into this image of her so stepping into her and she has become a part of who you are now, to your very cellular level. Awesome. Now bring your hands to your chest, rubbing your hands together vigorously, particularly if you're in the southern hemisphere, that's quite unusual. <laughs> we just warm up the hands. Okay, warmer, 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 
shoulders and place both palms over your eyes, lengthening the neck, pressing down through the feet, lifting the kneecaps, bring the tailbone between the feet, relaxing through the hips and very gently opening up the eyes as you remove your hands by your sides. Beautiful. Now, interlace the fingers like I showed you before and hold your, the backs of your fingers towards your chest and then as you exhale, press your hands away. So exhale, pressing the arms away. Now, really dropping the shoulders, pulling in the lower belly and relaxing through the buttocks as you stretch the arms as forward as much as you can, trying to have like a right angle with your wrists and your arms and your arms are straight as possible. And then inhaling, keeping the arms exactly the same as you lift them above your head and really pressing through the palms toward the sky, bringing the thumbs toward the sky and the pinky fingers back toward the ground. And then pulling in that lower belly, lengthening the neck as you bring the shoulder blades down the spine. And then exhale and bring the arms forward. Bring the knuckles back to the chest, turning the hands around and then moving the fingers up one. And then inhaling, pressing the hands away, straighten the arms, bring the shoulders back, tailbone tucked down and continuing to inhale as you lift the arms all the way up, bring the thumbs toward the sky, pinky fingers toward the ground, keep those arms straight, neck long, ears between the biceps, really, really straighten those arms, really working through those hands and exhaling as you bring the arms forward and then bring the hands back to the chest. Beautiful. Now this time, I want you to stay where you are on the mat. I'm just moving to, to show you on the camera. So this time I want you to lift both arms up into the air so that palms are parallel like I showed you. So palms are parallel, lifting the arms up in the air. And then grab your left wrist with your right hand. So grab your left wrist with your right hand and stretch the left arm up as much as you possibly can. So feet are still hip width apart. And then cross your left foot over your right foot so that you're, and then inhale. And as you exhale, dropping the body over toward the right. So pulling with that wrist. Now be careful not to twist the body. So um, bringing the right hip forward and the left shoulder back, chin in, ears between the arms and inhaling and exhaling gently here each time you exhale see so if you can go a little more deeply see if you can stretch that left side a little more and that the right hip comes in a little more but keep bringing that left hip back and the right armpit forward beautiful one more inhale and exhale beautiful now let's stretch coming back replacing the feet, stretching both hands up, palms parallel. Now grabbing the right wrist with your left arm, hand, stretching that right hand up, um, up as much as it will, keeping your arms straight, crossing at the feet so the right foot crosses in front of the left. Inhale and as you exhale, bending all the way to the left. So remember, keep bringing your left hip forward and your um, right armpit forward so that you stay parallel so imagine like you're like a piece of toast in a toaster and if you twist you'll get burned so you don't want that so you're not twisting your body from back to front and instead you're keeping that nice parallel line so inhaling and exhaling see if you can bend just a little more and inhale and exhale a little bit more beautiful and let's bring both hands back up parallel to each other and then bring the palms together and as you exhale bring the palms down to the center of the chest and just holding the palms at the center of the chest and bring your feet together so that the arch to arch you can feel the heel bones against each other and really bring that tailbone down and lift the pelvis so that you're imagine that you're if you put your hands on your hips and imagine You've got your hands on your hips and really like moving the back of the hips down and the front of the hips up so that we have a nice, um, so we're flattening out a little through the lower back. Bring the palms back together, pressing the palms and lifting the elbows 
And really bring the shoulders back, shoulder blades down the spine, lifting the knees. And then inhaling, bring the palms all the way up. And as you exhale, swan diving. So we're just going to come to halfway. Now your halfway may be with your hands on the tops of your thighs. Or you may like to get two blocks here. So in order to um, come to another kind of a flat back using the blocks. So you decide. What's important here is that your face is looking at the ground and your neck is nice and long. Beautiful. And then see if you can bring your hands down a little lower to your shoes or your ankles. And let's do our first Uttanasana. So fingertips to the floor. If your fingertips are not reaching the floor, again, use the blocks so that you have enough height. And then just dropping your head and bringing your weight a little forward onto the toes because we have a tendency to um, swing backwards. So bringing your weight forward onto so the balls of the feet, lift and separate those toes. And gently bending the knees so that your thighs are on your belly. Now, grabbing your ankles with your elbows pointing outside and see if you can straighten up the legs from lifting from the inner ankles to the inner knees to the inner thighs. See if you can lift your body, your legs up and bending your elbows, bringing your body down as far as they will. So remember, it doesn't matter where you get to today. <clears throat> it's just about the doing of it and the feeling and the releasing. So just release and let go. Hmm. Sounds like a bit of duck out there today. Beautiful. Okay, so bring your hands back to that position where you can have a flat back. And at this flat back, flat, flat back position, have your shoulder blades coming down your rib cage. And let's just bring our fingertips to the floor and bring the right foot behind and coming into our first lunge with the knee on the ground. So allow the back foot to come flat behind you. <clears throat> and then just going deeply into this lunge. Now here again, if you so desire, you can use the blocks. I quite like them. And that way I can um, bring my chest forward through my arms. So my left knee should be over my left ankle. And now, if you look around at your right foot, it should be directly behind the knee. So you don't want the legs that are going out the knee, it should be directly behind the right knee. Excellent. So just allowing your body to sink down. Now put your left thumb onto the crease of the left hip and really pulling that hip back so that you've got a nice um, flat plane still going through the lower back and pelvis because we don't want to twist through there. We want to keep that nice and square. Beautiful. Let's just move those blocks out of the way. And then we'll just bring our hands to the floor, hooking the toes underneath, and we'll come back into a downward dog. So having the feet together here this time, so feet and ankles are together, and pressing through the hands, and relaxing into the dog with absolute pleasure. So bring your feet as close to the floor as they will. Now it's up to, so let's just bend our knees and bring our belly onto our legs. And really pressing through the hands underneath the thumb and the forefinger particularly. And broadening across the upper back. And let's walk out our dog. So just walking it out here. Now if it's hard to have the feet together then have them separate. But we're just trying uh, something a little different today. Beautiful. Now, looking forward, and let's bring this time our left uh, note. We change it to our right foot forward, and we'll have our left knee onto the ground. So again, if you so desire, have a couple of um, blocks around your feet to, to frame your feet or your fingertips, and making sure that the ankle is directly beneath the knee. So pressing down through your hands and your fingertips, bringing your chest forward as you look forward, bring a gentle smile to your face. This is such a beautiful way to start the day. So again, the foot behind you should be directly behind the knee. So, and bring your right thumb to the right crease 
of the right thigh where it joins the hip and bring that hip back. So that we're trying to keep the pelvis nice and square and not twisting at all. Beautiful. Okay, so both the hands around the foot, um, curling up the toe and then twisting back again into the downward dog and exhaling. So we've got our feet together here and really, um, and this time actually bring your feet hip width apart and let's just walk out the dog. So we're getting a nice stretch here through the ankles just as we walk out the dog. Feeling my belly is showing. It's Now looking forward and just bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand and turning the foot at 45 degrees. And if you can, keep your back leg straight. So we've got the right foot out at 45 degrees on the outside of the right hand. So this is called the lizard pose. So if you wish, return your knee to the mat. Otherwise, having the leg nice and strong behind you and really pressing that heel behind you toward whatever is behind you. Imagine there's a cable going from the heel all the way back. And remember again to keep that right butt down so that you're keeping nice and square through the hips. Excellent. And let's come back to the dog pose. Walking through the dog. Okay, let's keep that dog still. Now looking between the hands and moving the left foot to the outside of the left hand. So keeping the right leg nice and strong and straight. Good. Chest coming through the arms. Neck is long as you're looking forward but at the same time toward the ground or the floor. Excellent. Remembering to keep those hips nice and square behind you. Beautiful. And let's come back to the dog pose. Wonderful. All right. And let's walk the hands up to the feet. Um, the other way around. <laughs> the feet to the hands, sorry. <laughs> I get confused sometimes. Now, bend your knees and place your fingertips under each heel. And try to have your forearm on the back of your calves. So the head is hanging down nice and relaxed, face is relaxed. And then try to straighten the legs while you pull down. So you're pressing the heels onto the fingertips. So you're pulling with your arms to really bring the body all the way down. And this is great for really elongating through the spine. And trying to get your legs as straight as possible, bringing your weight a little forward towards your toes, but continuing to press through the heels. Relax. Release the face. Beautiful. Okay, now let's come back to that flat back position and then bringing your palms to your chest and either with knees bent or knees straight, just lifting up from here, pressing through all four corners of the feet and then inhaling, opening up the arms like you're receiving a great big beach ball of love from the heavens and then as you exhale, bring that love into your heart. Pressing down through all four quarters of the feet. Inhale, opening the arms up again. And you get a big beach ball between your arms. And then exhaling, bring your arms down as you come back into your flat back posture. So wherever your hands are now, it may have changed. Remembering to really open up through the upper back neck as well. Bring both hands down to the floor. And then bringing your right foot back. Now here again you can have the option with the knee down or the knee up. And then I'd like you to put the left hand on the outside of the left knee and then turn the body and then see if you can bring your right elbow on the outside of the left knee. So really use your arm and your knee to turn the body and then bring both palms together and turn to look over the two left hands. So in order to do this, make sure that you've really got your ankle underneath your knee. Make sure that you really have those hips nice and square like we've talked about and have that back leg really strong and straight 
and have that heel going back toward the back wall. So pressing the palms, and see if we can get a little bit more twist here. So again, enjoying every moment, allowing the face to relax. Beautiful. So as we twist, we move, we um, work on the internal organs. Great. Now some of you may like to bring a hand to the floor and then open the other arm up to the sky. So have that a go. So remember you can do this with the knee down or up. And let's bring the hands back together again to prayer. And then framing your foot. And let's come back to the plank this time. So the plank posture, again having the heels going back, pressing down through the hands, looking at the space just in front of your hands, and bringing your sternum forward as you're pulling in your lower belly, so nice and strong. So this time bringing your right foot forward, so either into your lunge or on your knees. And remember to keep that right crease of the hip going back, straightening the left leg. Now, pressing the right knee with your right hand in order to help your body to turn as much as it will toward the right. Then bringing the left elbow on the outside of the right knee, both palms together, and really using your knees and your knee and your elbow as an image. And keep bringing that right hip back, like toward your left ankle. And looking directly ahead to neck is in alignment with the spine, pressing the hands together and just continuing to see if you can open up just a little bit more. You might even do a little readjusting, see if you can get a little bit more twist. And bringing that left fingertips to the floor and opening up the right fingers if that's within your reach again. Both palms back together and we'll frame the foot and come back to the plank. So remember, if you don't want to do the plank, you can just be on your knees. So it's your option here. Now, looking straight at the floor, and let's press back into the dog. So walking the feet up a little, so they're hip width apart, until your heels are on the floor. And then make sure the insides of the feet are parallel. And then turn the hands slightly out. So both hands turn them out. And really feeling how the triceps come to the floor and the biceps toward the spine as you're opening up through the upper back. And exhale. Beautiful. Now this time we will walk the hands toward the feet. And then coming into your flat back. Putting both your hands on the backs of the hips, elbows toward the sky. Now either with the knees bent or if you can with knees straight. So pressing down through all four corners of the feet and pressing the hands down as you lift the body up, elbows behind you. Great. And then releasing the arms and rolling the shoulders. Well done. Beautiful job. Awesome. Let's come to the centre of the mat now. So looking straight at me. And let's bring the palms together, bending the knees, inhale and exhale, feet apart. Good. So the outsides of the feet should be parallel with the sides of the mat. Now what I want you to do is put your heels of the hands on the tops of the hips like we did before, have the elbows coming toward each other, keeping your neck in a line with the spine. Now try to, with your legs straight, inhale and then exhale and just come to halfway. Now you can put your hands onto your thighs or anything like that if you prefer. Personally, I like to just be pressing my hands on my hips and pressing them away. And then bring both hands onto the mat in front of you. So your hands, your wrists and elbows and shoulders are directly stacked. Now bring your hand to the centre of that space between the two hands. And then bring your left hand onto that left hip. And then turning by pressing through your right hand that your hips don't move at all and then lifting your left arm up into the sky as you do another twist, a rinse, a cleanse, a detox, opening up through the shoulders, really pressing through the hand that's on the floor and pressing through all parts of the feet. Excellent. And now let's bring both hands back to flat 
And see this time, press through your hands and see if you can lift your bottom up and your um, shoulders up like you're doing the cat cow. So you're really trying to concave the spine. And then exhale and convex the front of the spine. So you're doing like a cat cow, standing with the feet together apart. Knees on the chest. And then inhale, lifting the head, lifting the tail, bringing the shoulders back towards the hips curving the spine and exhaling and then flat back. Now bringing the left hand to the space in between the two hands, the right hand onto the top of the hip and then turning the body toward the right side so without turning the hips at all and then lifting that right arm up to really get that stretch through the upper back. So I know I'm a little bit tight through the thoracic, so you can probably get something a lot more open than I am. But I'm working on that every day, being an imperfect person that I am, constantly ever evolving. Looking up at your right thumb, and then bringing back both hands, and then bringing your, holding your ankles, if you can, or whatever part of your body, try to hold your ankles or even the outsides of the blades of the feet. You can put your fingers just under the blades of the feet. And then pulling the body down, bring the elbows out like we did before, head towards the floor, elbows out. Really trying to, if your legs are straight, trying to lift the kneecaps and make sure you bring the body a little bit forward because we have a tendency to, to go back. Bring those elbows out, relax. Beautiful. Now, this time, bring your feet to heel and toe in just a little bit, and then put your hands on top of your knees, um, and we actually, yeah, and then the palms to the chest as we raise from our hearts, lifting the bodies up and then turning the heels in and the toes out and let's bend the knees out to the side goddess pose palms up to the sky that's it beautiful and let's lift and lower here so as you do this keep bringing that pelvic bowl so that you're pulling in through the lower belly and up and your tailbone is coming down between the knees so what's important is that we're not sticking our bottoms out excellent so keep bouncing here a little bit more so the knees are in alignment with the feet. So make sure that the knees are not in front of the feet. Good. And arms are directly out from the shoulders. Good. Excellent. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, one. Beautiful. Let's bring our hands onto the knees and then just rolling the right shoulder forward. So really pressing that knee away with the hand as you bring that right shoulder forward and you can feel a nice stretch through the back. So releasing all the toxins that get stored around the spine. And then coming back to the center and exhaling to do the other side. Pressing that the knees away with your hands, relaxing the face, and back to the centre. Let's straighten the legs, arms out the sides, palms facing up. Bring the thumbs behind you, and let's just heel and toe the feet together. Hands back to the chest. Namaste. So this is the end of our class today. Hope you've had a lovely time. So it's time to go for a walk, take a photograph.